Okay, so got all the big guys done. Obviously, the uh, it's nice not having the giant horse coming back, which now leaves me with some more health. And hopefully this guy is worn down by these poisonous arrows, and I can just kind of collect the loot. And you're dead. Okay, that's nice. Very nice. Petrified dragon bone, even better. Okay. And I did notice that Luet actually doesn't even have the colon for this area. Um, doesn't actually even have a sword. He just has two giant, like, Havel shields. Um, wasn't paying enough attention to notice that and wondering why he wasn't really doing any damage, um, to the horse there. So that makes sense. You are definitely not a fake. Okay. Do, do, do. Let's see what new stuff I have here. Firestorm, okay. Chest, right? Yes, it is definitely a chest. Always be wary of fakes in this game. I feel like there's more in this one than there are in Dark Souls 1. Um, but I never really spent the time to count and check. Okay, I think this is the only way for me to go. So I need to take out them two ladies. Without catching on fire. Okay. Let's do it. No, let's do it the other way. Let's try to hit him with some daggers. Alright, now the health is draining, and now I don't have to worry about two. Let's take you out. And let's move up. Maybe moving up was not the right decision. Let's see. There's no way she can win, right? Alright. You can beat me once. You're not going to beat me twice. Alright, Dragon Charm. That's nice. Souls, those are back. Pull the lever Gronk, and let's keep moving. So hopefully you didn't have too hard of a time earlier in the game, because it definitely definitely gets harder as we go. Last time I played this game, I pretty much had a hard time with everything. I do think I was... Ooh, nice. Estus Flash Shard. I definitely had a hard time with pretty much everything in this game. I do think I was in... Uh, the wrong covenant which made the game harder you can join the, uh, a covenant that allows for stronger enemies they deal more damage they have more health and things like that Oop. take the shield I guess I don't even really have to kill this guy as we're going right back to the bonfire I should probably just save my arrows let's make sure he dies though at this point I might as well get the souls Okay, perfect. So, got 21,000. I'm just about... I could probably level up at this point. And... Let's get in here. So, now all the enemies are back. Let's go down. And in case you didn't see... I was able to activate this lever... By feeding the golem... In that room up here a soul and so basically the way I did that was grab the two quick guys and bring them into the previous room with all the statues kill one of the enemies near the pot and it activates the golem who brings this down for us feel free I recommend watching it in the video just in case you don't understand what I am saying but you have activated multiple golems at this point hopefully you know what I'm uh, talking about so you got a lever there, charmer ahead, let's keep moving. Uh, let's not kill him just yet. Might have to though. Key to the King's Passage, let's see if that's what I'm looking for, nope.
Strong magic shield. Soul vessel. Fire seed. Okay. Yeah. I think I gotta kill you, dude. Nope. Okay. I can't take this. Let me see what I can do with this guy before moving forward. Give me one sec. Alright, so we're going to leave here. We got the key that we needed. And it's going to be another long ride down. So just be patient. You got the key that we needed. And so the door that was locked down here will now be... Uh, we can now open it. So let's check how many of the paths we've gone through. Above the bonfire we completed, we completed uh, this ladder here, and I don't think there's anything we can do with the lever, as I don't think we really need it anymore, but let's see, we can, hmm, okay, so I guess if you want to go up, you just stand on there, but let's use the King's Passage.